Yo, what's going on YouTube? Today's video is not the usual fishing video, but I hope you guys enjoy and stick around until the end. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my birds and my fish. I've got fish in like a little trough pond I've got over there, etc. So I'll show you all of them shortly. But first, I just want to explain something. If you guys have watched my other videos on my birds and my fish, you'd, you'd know that I have more birds. But now I've only got these two. I've got this one here, and I've got the other one over there, and a pair of hens, two girls. And um, I had six birds. Now, four of them did die recently. I'm not entirely sure what happened either. But one morning, I just came up to let them out, give them their food and water and whatever. And two of them were just on the floor there dead, and one was in the cage dead. No, I was really confused, but I'm, I'm not sure what it could have been. But I have a rough idea. Like recently I've seen some mouse getting into the cage when I come to put them to bed at night or whatever. Um, I've seen some mouse in their food bowls and um, I never used to bring the food in at night and I've got a little thing in here now I'll show you. I've got, I put the food in this bin at night now because I don't want the mouse getting into them. But um, the mouse got in them and they may have like hid all in there or something and infected the food. And then the birds ate the food and maybe it's you know, infected the bird, and then the birds died. But that could be the case. But there's so many other theories that could have happened. Like, who even knows? But it's just really weird that I came up one day and three of them was died, and then like a week later, the other one died. And he was the dad of them three. Basically, them three that died were the babies of her, right there. And her like husband died. Um, and yeah, so that's four of my birds on just found it really weird as well because i've had the birds for like four years and they've always been doing absolutely fine in their little aviary out here and they've got the cage in there and whatever um the quails you might have been wondering what them things on the floor were the two little chinese painted quails beautiful little birds they lay some eggs now and then which i can eat they're only tiddlies they're like little small things but um yeah, I've got two quails as well. I've had them for about a year. They're doing absolutely great. Um, that I've got them to keep a lot of the muck off the floor, which I've done a good job of. There's a lot less than what they used to be. But yeah, these two birds are all I've got left. I'm really glad because these are the two original birds that I had. They're my favourites and um, they're very tame. Sometimes you don't want to come to me, but they're good birds. Look at these quails sneaking into the house eating all the stuff off the floor. I'll let them in there for a bit. I'll let them wander around the floor and eat all the seed, what's fell out of the buckets and whatever in here. And then I'll pop them back in. Yeah, the other one's coming in now to meet his friend. If you guys can hear her now, she's making a call to her friend, just saying like, come here, come here. And then sometimes they'll make like a really loud chirp. You can hear it from about a mile away. Um, but yeah, that's how they're communicate i'll let them have a little mess around in the shed floor for now but for now i'll just leave them and i head over to my little pond in the trough right now i've just entered to where the trough is as you can see it's absolutely infested with duckweed so I'll just, i've got i keep the stick by it just to wipe it away and then you can see the fish sometimes i've got two goldfish in here one of them i've had for four years the other one i've had for two Here's one of them. He's the big goldfish. He looks he's, he looks big in there, but he's small, really. But when you get him in your hand, he's massive. He's fat. But um, he's the one I've had for four years, and then I'll see if I can find the other one now. Here is the other one. As you can see, sort of like a little koi, but it's not. Um, but yeah, he's beautiful as well. I actually recently got this little solar panelled aerator for this pond. It does work very well when the sun's on it. The sun isn't on it at the moment. I've, I've placed it in a weird location because normally I have it on top of this bush, but I've moved it so I can move about because there's sometimes a wire down here, obviously. But um, yeah, that works a treat. Now I have got one of these aerators for my pond at my nan's house, basically. The pond I've been building on the YouTube channel over the last couple of months. If you haven't watched them videos, I'll try and link them here now. But make sure you check them out, they're good videos, and I hope you enjoy them. But um, that pond's at my nan's house, and this one's mine here. 
But yeah, they were my goldfish in my pond in the trough. Now, for the next part of the video, I'm gonna head inside, I nearly tripped up then. <laughs> but I'm gonna head inside and I'm gonna show you my African cichlids. I've got, I did have six, I, I've got five now, one of them passed away recently. There's a lot of deaths in this video, I know. But um, I had six African cichlids, I've got five now. They're beautiful. Um, they're in my tank upstairs, so I'll head up there now. I'm now up here in my room, and this is my African cichlid tank. As you can see, it's a bit dirty right now, so I'm gonna give this a clean in this video real quick. So I'll cut to that right now. Said that wrong before I cut to that, I'll show you the fish. So in here I have three Mabuna, if that's how you pronounce it, three Mabuna African cichlids. That one there is a Frontosa. I don't actually know the breed of that one at the back, but yeah, the fish, one's hiding down there at the moment, but the rest are all out. But at the end of this video, I'll do a feeding of this tank and show you how aggressive these fish really can be. So make sure to stick around until the end. First step of cleaning this tank is I've got this pump here. All I've got to do is pump half of this water out, so about to there, pump that out and then fill it back up put some dechlorinator in it and that'll be the water change part done but meanwhile I've got to scrub the walls of the tank down and scrub all the ornaments in there just to get all that alg algae off or what, algae algae whatever um, get all of that stuff off make the tank look clean again obviously it is clean it only got cleaned like two weeks ago but it's just algae came back fast partly to do with the sunny weather but um, yeah let's get into that now That is now the first bucket load of water out and as you can tell it's gone down quite a bit so I reckon one and a half or two more bucket fulls that should be sorted so I'll see you when I've done that. Obviously the tank is now half empty, I've scrubbed all of the plantage for the tank just to make it that bit cleaner, I didn't want to bore you with that so I didn't film it but now I've got, um, got the watering can filled up, filling up should I say and then I'll get this filled back up. And then I'll show you the fish when it's more clear. Just poured in the first load of water and you can see how much it's filled up from that. About that much, not too much at all. But the next one or two buckets should fill it to the brim. I've just poured in some of the good stuff while I was um, waiting for the other watering can to fill up. Tank is now back up, full to the brim. And I've done a slight new aquascape on it. Made some little tunnels there for the cichlids to swim in and out of. Let's turn it off. No, that's no better. There we go. Dim the lights a little bit so you can see it better. But as you can see, the water's still really, really murky at the moment. Fish are all doing great though. Um, and the new is quite looks nice. The walls are all scrubbed down, looking nice and clean again. So um, I'll skip it forward. Let's say one or two hours from now, and I'll see you then. And I'll do. I'll be doing a feeding of the tank. Let's give the fish a three course meal. I'll give them, I'll give them their little pellets, the flakes, and then I'll give them a cube of blood worms as a treat. They'll, I'll give them one a week. So this can be their weekly little blood worm snack. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. This is the tank an hour later guys, as you can see. It's thoroughly gone a lot clear now. All the gunk has sank to the bottom. Tank's looking very good. You can see all of my cichlids a lot clearer now. There's the, that's the biggest one in the tank. That's my favourite one when he's lit up. What, like he fires up when you feed him, I'll show you later. There's my blue one, my yellow one, and my Frantosa, who is a beast. Will be a beast in the future when I get them a bigger tank. Because I'm planning on getting them a big massive 150 odd litre tank. With the tank all clean, let's get to feeding these bad boys. I'll put some pellets on here real quick, so I'll just open the lid push all of them in and then they're in now so they're not they might not be as aggressive but look how they just attack them watch them for a little bit they finish them off very quick so i've got a pinch of flakes here they're all in now watch them attack the flakes off their pop that's very cool I'm just going to head off to get the blood worms right now. Sorry for the bad camera quality, by the way, it's quite dark. But I'm just going to go get the blood worms and then I'll be back in a second. 
Here is the cube of blood worms I've got for my fish. I'm just gonna place this through the gap. Sorry for the bad footage. Um, there it is. It's frozen at the moment, but the fish will make this spread out in just a minute. As you can see, they're attacking it like mad. They're loving it. In two, literally, give it three seconds. It's already starting to evaporate. Not evaporate, dissolve, I mean. It's starting to dissolve. And when it's dissolved, sorry for the darkness, it's just, obviously it's late. But, um, there, look, they're starting to grab them all, being really aggressive. That's all I've got for you guys today, but if you enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel. Once you've done that, turn on the post notifications. And also in the comments, let me know if you want to see more videos like this. It'd be much appreciated, because I do want to do more videos on my birds and fish and whatever. So please just let me know. Try and get it to as many views as you can, because these videos don't tend to do as well as my fishing ones, but just share it about, please. Um, check out some of the videos on screen, but yeah, as I mentioned, subscribe and like the video. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys, so peace for now.